truths that we thought were truths and are now being questions and we need to question them. We need to go to the basics of everything uh, because that's the only way. Frank, what do you have in store for us today? The idea that the magnetosphere is changing and it's changing and it has a relationship to our consciousness and that uh, it leads us to the ideology of you know the the split between whether we believe that we are uh, special in the universe that we are kind of chosen uh, we've been created by a creator or whether we are really just random rocks and atoms that happen to collide in one of those trillions or infinity based kind of universal universe models that are put out there by the atheistic view of science remember this diagram you know showing us that how things are moving from the 1800s right up to now and that it's increasing to the point where here this last little stretch of 36 miles could be uh, hitting us as soon as in seven months six or seven months we could be looking at some cataclysmic events i mean this kind of stuff here is taking place right now the date on this video is the 27th of august okay we're talking a couple of weeks ago this is a case where there was a flood in Pakistan where 30 million people were displaced out of their homes, right? And then there was like other areas of the world, like it just didn't happen only in Pakistan. It was happening also in like Dallas, you know? There was areas like in Dallas that were being hit. These images, for example, are showing us Dallas. This is going on all over the world as well. This is happening in Dallas, it's happening in uh, Pakistan, it's happening in Paris. You know, there were these floods that were going on and floods, here's China. This is going on in China. And the, most of our food and production that we're consuming over in the Western world, we've, we've outsourced it to these areas. These changes are taking place because of what I was describing in terms of the magnetosphere changes. And even Lawrence Krauss, who's like one of the absolute, you know, diehard heliocentric scientists, absolute atheist, you know, he says, uh, he's quoted as saying, when you look at the CMB map, which is that background radiation map I just showed you, you also see that the structure that is observed is in fact, in a weird way, correlated to the plane of the earth around the sun. Is this Copernicus coming back to haunt us? That's crazy. We're looking out at the whole universe.